Okay, now this is pretty epic. I finished another one of my challenges, which is like... Kinda neat, not gonna lie. Um, the challenge was basically about... Um, how would I say this? Like, You basically give the image, uh, the program an image, a random image, and it will create a... Um, it will convert its brightness levels to, to ASCII text and output it. So for example, I have a an image here, like I made in Serenity, uh, I mean in the image editor in Serenity, and if we give the image, if we pass the image to the to the program, it will generate the brightness levels and like in in ASCII and output it, and that's pretty neat. And, you know, like if you ask me, another example I have was inside of well, yeah, was this basically test that png. And if you pass this one, it, it creates the the map, I mean the map, the brightness, like ASCII text thing. Um, at, the, at, the, at the beginning I was thinking about make, making it like, it would detect color as well as brightness, but that's hard because like, you would have to, you would have to like, translate, um, I know how I would do it. I guess I would use a character for like a color, maybe like red for arrow for uh, red or something, or maybe actually, actually, I could color the the output itself. Maybe that could work. But okay, uh, that's for another time. For now, it just works with brightness. It gets it goes through each pixel, and it will um, uh, it will calculate it from the RGB values. It will calculate the the brightness level from uh, 0 to 255 and then it will create a, a, based on how high it is it will just simply get a the one of those uh, characters that go from like the dot which is like dark to um, to this which is like full white so like how does this work the program is written in serenity it's C++, it's kind of different than normal C++, I mean different because we have like the core library which is a bit different than writing in Linux C++, but okay. Um, other than that, everything, like short, long story short, all it does is like takes the parameters, one positional that's required and the other one that's not required, which is just debug to output more information. It gets the image, I mean the absolute path, then here it, okay, it will print the, uh, I mean it will set the debug mode, the global variable, it will uh, output the image absolute location and it will, then it will call a library I imported which was like this, uh, where is it, this, it's a header file, um, and what what I tried to do at the beginning was like try to make my own like header file for I mean code I mean library for reading the the images from the pixel data from the disk, <clears throat> but that's way too long and like I would give up because like you would have to deal with PNGs with PPMs whatever they are JPEGs and GIFs and BMPs whatever. So by result I just imported the library and said fuck it maybe next time maybe never I don't know. And so what this does, if you take a, oh god, if you go inside of projects, vim, um, stb image, it should be inside here, the documentation, yeah, it will, um, it will spit the width in pixels, height in pixels, to the xy uh, parameters that you give it which is, this is the x and this is the y, so it will write the width and height to the width and height variables. Then you give it the the image of, the path to the image, and then the pixel structure, which will be, basically it will return the pixels, like how, it's, how it structures the channels. Like, um, if you go down here, the possible like combinations are one, two, three, and four. The first one is just 
the pixel data will have just 8 bits. Each pixel will have 8 bits um, for green, for, for gray, sorry. And then it, the second one will mean that the each pixel will have a channel for gray, which is 8 pixels, and a channel for alpha, which is also 8 pixels. Then the third and the fourth, which are just one, each pixel will have a channel for red, green, and blue, or red, green, and blue, and alpha, each of 8 bits. Um, so yeah. Then what this does, it simply checks if it failed, or maybe if, the, if there's no width or height, or if it's a different pixel structure, because we, we, are, certain, we are just working in this case with uh, red, green, and blue, and alpha. I'm too lazy to like write the code for others, because it's not necessary, it's just a, it's just a way to prove my point, I, I solved the challenge. Um, and so, then if it's the correct structure, and there's width, height, and it worked, I mean, it read the uh, the pixel data and it returned. Uh, the pixel data is inside of the data. Um, the data pointer, by the way, I mean the data unsigned chart pointer, it points to that. We will simply loop through the, through the width, height, and get the pixel. <clears throat> Since we have four channels, each one of four bits, uh, I mean of four bits of four bytes, we have to multiply it by four. The the row and column as well, and then simply get the red, the green, blue, alpha. There is no padding, so it's simply just plus one, plus two, and plus three. And unsigned char because char is eight bits um, in C and C. Then, if the if it's the debug mode, you simply print the pixel uh, location and the red, green, and blue value, and alpha also the alpha. And then what we do here is simply calculate the grayscale data. I mean the grayscale like um, thing, which would be, which is a formula I extracted from this article, um, found it online somehow. You go here and colors in grayscale. It simply tells you um, how it works and whatever. Yeah, you can read it yourself. Um, then what it does is simply um, takes the uh, I created here a variable I mean an array of um, array of uh, characters for brightness the completely zero is the dot for black then we slightly go uh, up till the last one which is for completely bright and I snitched this code from the very famous donut math the donut.c program um, it simply, uh, I simply, yeah, I simply took it from here, and it it does the same thing. It simply outputs a donut with uh, lightning uh, and representing the lightning uh, from those uh, couple of characters in the terminal, and so then it takes the character. It, I mean, get, it somehow like generates the generates figures out which um, ASCII character it should be, which is very simple actually. You just take the grayscale data, multiply it by the 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 length of the whole thing minus one because we have the this one at the end, and then what it does simply is just divides by two hundred fifty five. It's a simple equation. Then what you do is simply take it from the array and output it as a character. And then once it reaches the end of the row and goes to the next one, you simply print f a um, uh, line breaker character. Uh, and so that's how it works. Took me like some something like three to four days to make this, or maybe a little more. Yeah. And so if you test it again. For example, if you do make file, a file that's not an image, it will simply tell you failed reading pixel data from the image. If you don't give it nothing, it just tells you this. Um, if you give it uh, an image, images, test, it will give you that. And if you do true, it will also, as well as printing a, the, the thing, it prints the information about each pixel. 
if you remove it, it will simply output it. And yeah, that 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 that's the whole the whole thing behind that's the whole science behind such a program in Serenity.